My name is Angel Sanchez, and I used to have a life just like yours, back before the world as we knew it came to an end. It was the day before my 23rd birthday when the aliens arrived. They called themselves Kateni, and they were savage enemies. They showed us no mercy, and they played for keeps. I heard on the radio that the United Nations had signed a truce with the Kateni. It was just a nice way of saying total surrender. Then things really went to hell. They started herding us into refugee camps. I don't know what happened to my family, but that's what happened to me. Millions of other people just vanished. No one knows where they went, but a lot of us look up at the sky and wonder. Now, most of the human race is under alien control, or collaborating with the Kateni in hopes of receiving a little better treatment. The alternative, the unknown, is just too terrible for most people to contemplate. The only exceptions are scavengers who fled the Kateni. And the resistance, a collection of freedom fighters and rebels carrying on the struggle in hopes of one day freeing Earth from alien rule. The odds are against them, but it doesn't matter. They're all we've got. This is their story. This is my story. This is a story of the human race's last desperate fight for freedom. This place is a zoo with humans on the inside. Why do you say that? We're caged in here. There's no way out except feet first. There's always another way out. Keep talking like that and at that volume and you'll find out what the unpleasant way out of here is. Keep it down or the peacekeepers will make an example of you. Have you heard anything about what it's like outside? All I know is that I don't know what's out there, whether it's more aliens, the resistance, or whatever. I do know that in here stinks, though. Good night. Angel, so good to see you again. I'm looking for a way out. That could be difficult, Angel. The Kateni have sealed this place up tight. Then again, they don't know everything, do they? But you do. I've seen you trading in fresh fruit, Miriam. You must know how to get outside, or know someone who does. You're an observant one. Yes, I do know people on the outside. I trade with them on occasion, but not often. I also have a brother living with the scavengers under the city. His name is Lawrence. 
and I haven't seen him in six months. But you must have escaped and seen him, right? You have to know how to get out of here. I can't tell you how to escape, Angel. The world comes to me. I don't go to it. But talk to Seamus if you want to leave and take this for him. He's not a greedy man, but he'll want something for his help. You'll be able to find him in the collaborator's wing this time of night. He claims they need more cleaning, if you can believe that. But you're going to stay here? I'm not going anywhere, Angel. This is my place. But if you decide it's your place to go, I want you to take this. Find my brother if you can and give him this. Something tells me you'll be seeing him soon. I should check my inventory now. What do you want? Have you seen a man named Seamus tonight? Seamus? Haven't seen him since he was over by the packing supply store in the East Wing. Good. I need to talk to him. This place is driving me nuts. Well, everyone's got a sob story, sister. You keep yours to yourself and I'll keep mine. It might be a good time to look at the map. Maybe I can talk to him and learn a few things. Good evening, miss. It's a pleasant night, isn't it? Are you Seamus? That's the way it always is, isn't it? There's no manners anymore, no courtesy. Yes, I'm Seamus. Seamus Reardon, and you're, you're Miss Angel Sanchez, and you live out of the old bookstore with the Tolliver family, the Hernandez brothers, and nine or ten other folks. Am I right? That's amazing. How did you know? My dear Ms. Sanchez, I have to know an awful lot in my line of work. What is that line of work, you ask? Why, it's keeping this place going. If you were to rely on that lot over there in the movie theater, or their big furry friends, the roof would have fallen down eight months ago. You can count on that. The Catenni, at least, are smart enough to let me go about my business. It saves them trouble in the end. But you don't work for the peacekeepers, right? Let's just say there are things that I do the lads in the funny hats would disapprove of if they knew, so I take care not to tell them. I'm no friend of the Katenni, though. You walk around this place like I have, Angel, and you'll get the sense that it can't go on like this for too much longer. There are too many people in too little space, and not enough food or medicine to go around. So why not fight back and do something about it? It has to be waiting. Trust me, lass, you're not going to want to see this place when certain folks get riled up. I'm sure it won't be pretty. The way to deal with things here, if you want them done, is fast and quiet. Things like Miriam smuggling? You know about that, do you? Well, let's just say that Miriam's an old and dear friend, and she's got her wits about her. She sent you to me, didn't she? No doubt she wants me to help you escape. Well, I can tell you something about that. Escaping is easy. Escaping the right way, so that the peacekeepers don't come looking for you and tear through a dozen of your neighbors, that's hard. Are you ready to take that risk? You're right on the money. So can you help me, for Miriam's sake, if not mine? I might be able to help you. I won't ask for much in exchange, either. I get the sense that you're going to be more important in all this than I am before it's over. But I can't go giving away my help for free, either, else everyone and their brother will be asking me. And sooner or later, someone will make a slip. No, it has to be this way. Miriam gave me something for you. 
Will this do? A bottle of ammonia, is it? <laughs> Miriam's got a sense of humor. She's a smart woman, she is, and make no mistake about that. Let me give you something in return. A key. It fits a door down in the east wing. Down toward the entrance, they boarded up. Use it, and you'll find yourself in the service corridor behind the shops. You'll be able to find your way out from there. Godspeed, Angel, and don't forget us in here when you're out in the world. Now all I have to do is go through that door, and I'm out of here.
This is it. Maybe I can duck in here. You're Angel, aren't you? I've heard them talking about you. What are you doing out on the streets at night? It's dangerous. Yes, I'm Angel. Who are you? My name is Lily. I live in the sewers with some other people who are hiding from the Kateni. What are you doing out on the streets? How do I know you're not a peacekeeper spy yourself? They've been trying to find the resistance for a long time, but they can't catch them either. I have this letter from the resistance. Will that convince you? Oh, that's Vicar's handwriting. He's with the resistance, and he's been talking about recruiting you for a while. Sometimes he comes down to the tunnels to trade, but not often. So you'll help me? Where do I need to go? I don't know if I should, though. Vickers would be mad if he knew I told you. He gets awful mad. I'll protect you from Vickers. Where do I find these guys? I don't know where they live exactly, but they generally meet new recruits over by the warehouse district. The Kateni don't like to go there because it smells bad. Thanks, Lily. 
You said you live with others? In the sewers? There are a lot of us down there. Well, not a whole lot. Phoebe's in charge, but she gets mad when I sneak out. The Resistance calls us scavengers because we won't join them. But we're no good at fighting. Interesting. I wish I could follow up, but I've got an appointment with the Resistance. Goodbye, Lily. Goodbye, Angel. Good luck. You look a little soft to be out here at night, all by yourself. And you look a little weaselly to have such a big mouth. Aren't we the cocky one? Who sent you out here? No one sent me. Who the hell are you? The hall monitor? 
My name doesn't matter. What matters is that you're someplace you shouldn't be. Now, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Look, I'm just trying to find the resistance. I don't want any trouble. No one wants trouble. Some people are just unlucky enough to find it. Here's some advice. Stay out of the tunnels. I'll be watching for you. Thank you.